Now we're ready to calibrate the system in a slalom course. And the reason we have to do this is that Perfect Pass is based on an RPM foundation. So at each speed, we need to know what RPM it takes your boat to run a particular speed. So by timing the system through the course, the system can calibrate itself using the quick calibrate method. Now before we actually do our first pass, we may want to enter the crew weight of all the people in the boat. And to do that, just use your menu button to highlight slalom, and then press the down key, and the crew weight option is available to enter. Now there's two of us in the boat. I was too slow, so I'm going to do it again. There's two of us in the boat, weighing about 360 pounds. So we'll simply use the up key and enter 360. And after a second or two, the system will revert back to Cal Slalom. So we're ready to throttle up the boat, engage the system well prior to the course, and hopefully as we pass by the entrance gate, the magnet will trigger and the timer will start to scroll. So here we go. We're throttling up. We're heading to the course. We should engage here shortly. There we go. And you want to make sure that that timer has not triggered because it shouldn't trigger until we hit the entrance gate. Here's the entrance gate approaching. There you go, the timer has triggered and has started to count. You'll see the ball three time appear right now, a little bit fast. And as we exit the course, the full course time will appear and will stay locked on the screen. There we go, 16.59 was the full course time, which is fast for 34.2 miles an hour. So bring the throttle back to idle. Now to calibrate the system using the quick cal method, it's very simple. We need to highlight the uh, arrow in the upper right hand corner, press the down key which is a shortcut to the calibrate screen, and then we are going to press the up key because we want to confirm we want to calibrate using that time. And the system will confirm that the baseline was calibrated. So now, since the system was calibrated at 34.2, we're going to change the speed to 32 miles an hour. So simply highlight the speed, press the down key. We've changed it to 32.3. And now we're going to do another timing pass. So here we go. We're going to throttle up. Once again, make sure you're engaged well prior to entering the course. The boat should be very smooth and solid. And as we uh, approach the entrance gate, there we go. Our timer is triggered. Our ball three time. And hopefully we'll have a full course time as we exit the course. There we go, 17.63 seconds, which once again is fast. So bring the boat back to neutral. And we will once again calibrate using that time. So here we go. Remember you will use the menu button to highlight the arrow. Press the down key to access the quick cal screen, and then press the up key, and the system will confirm whether it has calibrated. The system confirms it was successfully calibrated, which means 32.3 should now be calibrated forever. And if you're not sure or you want to check, if you do another timing pass at 32.3 after you've uh, calibrated once, your digital speed and your time should be near actual. So everything should be dialed right in there. So we'll do one more just for practice. We're going to change the speed to 30 miles an hour. So once again highlight the speed, press the down key, change the speed to 30.4 and now we're ready to throttle up and engage the system again. So here we go. System engages prior to entering the course. We're approaching the course. The timer is once again triggered and started to count and it will show you the different times as we go through the course. Everything should be nice and smooth. And we'll get an exit time. There we go. Once again fast and you should expect that if that if all, all your baselines will either be fast or slow because the defaults we entered from the factory are just too high for your boat. So now we're going to recalibrate once again. So we will highlight the menu arrow, 
press the down key to enter the quick calibrate screen and we will press up and hopefully it will confirm that it could calibrate from those times. Once again, everything worked perfectly. So we've calibrated 34.2, 32.3, and now 30.4. So you should have a good feel on how the calibration procedure works. Now that we've calibrated the system, we're ready to go to the actual GPS slalom mode and hopefully we're ready to do some skiing. So to, to leave slalom mode or the cal mode, once again you have to highlight the arrow and press up which means I want to leave the screen and you have the different menu options available. Well because slalom has so many, you need to press the down key to get to the different slalom mode selections. So cal mode is where we were. If I use the menu button, I'll move down to GPS slalom and press the up key to select it. Now you'll notice the screen is a little bit different. Calibrate is gone. Slalom is on the screen and the skier size is now on the screen. In this case it defaults to N for normal size skier. So for practice if you want to change the speed just remember use the menu button to highlight the speed and up or down to increase or decrease. I've moved us back to 34.2 miles an hour. If you move around the screen, there's our speed. The next stop is the skier size, normal, extra large, light, and even featherweight. So the system allows you to dial in the size of the skier for the optimal pull. Normal is where uh, most of us will ski, but uh, if your boat is particularly strong, you may have to use a lower uh, setting um, to give you a nice, uh, nice feel and a good ball one time. Now before we leave you, I want to suggest you do one or two more passes through the course to make sure everything is working properly on your boat. So I would like you to change the skier size setting from normal down to what we call zero, which means no skier. I want to do a timing check. So now we're in GPS mode and the GPS is looking over the shoulder of the system. We should do a timing pass and because there is no skier setting we should see a very smooth consistent pull through the course. So just to confirm you have zero on the screen now beside the time confirming we have no skier and we're going to do a timing check. So you'll throttle up the boat and head towards the course. System will beep uh, to confirm engagement. And by the time you get to the entrance gate, the digital speed on the screen should literally be 34.2 or very, very close, confirming this, this boat, this system uh, is well in control. As you pass through the entrance gates, the timer will start to scroll. Perfect ball three time. And hopefully by the time we exit the course, the time will be near perfect, which it is. One one hundredth of a second off of actual. Uh, this, this boat uh, seems to be uh, very well controlled by the perfect pass. And now we're ready to tow a skier. So once I get a skier in the water, I don't want to forget that I have to take the skier size back to normal from the zero timing check. So I have a normal skier now set. N should be on the screen and we're ready to, uh, to hit the water.